Hey guys, so welcome to today's video. Guys, in today's requested video from a subby, I'm going to be doing a review and a what's in my bag of this Givenchy Antigona or Antigona. I call it Antigona, okay? But it could be Antigona, I'm not sure. When I go into the store and say Antigona, no one has ever corrected me. So we're gonna go with Antigona today, okay? So this bag right here, we're gonna do a review on it and a what fits inside. So if you're interested, then just continue to watch. Before we get started with the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure the notification bell is on so you don't miss any of my uploads thumbs up the video so I know you like my content and leave me a comment below so we can get to know each other. Now, let's get started with the video. Okay guys, so like I said, this is a Givenchy Antigona bag. Now, I know for a lot of you small bag gals, you're like <gasps> clutching your pearls right now. Like, oh my God, that's luggage. Yes, it is a big bag and I absolutely love it. This is actually the size small. It's not the medium. The medium was my first introduction to the Antigona bag and I was obsessed. Back in the day, like when that bag came out, like what, in 20. I'm not sure 2010 I'm not sure when that bag came out but it came out so long ago the medium is a huge bag but what got me is the structure I love a structured bag guys obviously it's stuffed right now because I'm using this bag but this bag like I used it today but this bag is a structured bag whether it's stuffed or not you know and I do keep it stuffed because I just like to put the stuffing in my bag but honestly guys like this bag is so structured that you don't really need to stuff it with anything. And this is the eggplant, AKA um, aubergine color that I absolutely love. I mainly wear this bag in the fall, but I've worn it a couple of times in the summertime as well, spring, summer, if I have something that goes with this color. So let me tell you a little bit about the bag. And child, it is heavy because I have it stuffed. Like I'm a kitchen sink girl, so I definitely have it stuffed. So like I said, this is the small. So there's three sizes, there's a mini, there's this small, and there's a medium. The medium is, is, is luggage, it's pretty much luggage. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was the era of like when everybody was wearing big bags, like the Celine Phantom and you know, the other Celine bag, like just all big bags. Like now guys, you know I'm from New York. I'm a New York girl. Now this bag is for the total city gal. Like, not the city girl, okay? Not city girls, <laughs> but the city gal. Like, this woman is on the move. She has places to go, people to see. She doesn't have time to just have a little bag with nothing that she can't hold anything in it because she's a businesswoman. <laughs> you know, she has things going on and she has to carry things with her, period. That's the Antigona bag. And anyone who loves a structured bag will absolutely love this bag. So that's how the bag first came out. Cause you were able to put like your laptop if you wanted to, or a, an iPad with the small size for me, I can fit all of my necessities in this bag. And then some like then, 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 then some <laughs> like this can fit everything I can possibly need to fit in a bag. Now, is this a bag that I take out to dinner? No. However, if I'm going to dinner with Bay or with friends or a colleague or whatever, and I'm wearing jeans and a blazer or a button up shirt and some boots and you know, whatever it is that I'm wearing, like I'll take this bag to dinner. Like, you know, I, I've taken this bag to dinner. Um, is it an evening bag? Absolutely not. You know, then you can go for your smaller bags, but for an everyday day bag <laughs> that you need to fit your essentials in, um, a water bottle, just anything that you may need to reach for, everything can fit in this bag. And it's a beautiful classic bag. This bag has been around forever. There's new styles of the Antigona and let me tell you, I'm not into it. The Antigona for me is, this is the Antigona. It's structured, it can be a little smaller, it can be a little larger, but it needs to have this shape and this structure like i need structure for the antigona so now they have the antigona soft which i'm not into like it's just it's actually tragic <laughs> in my opinion i'm not into it at all like when i think of antigona i need it to be structured that's the reason why you get a bag like this because you like structured bags you know what i mean and then there's the um the locket or the lock bag where it has i'm gonna leave the photo up so you guys will see it tragic in my opinion if you like it you like it but for me it's a hard no 
For me, it's the classic Antigona bag that will never go out of style and I absolutely love it. So this one is the grain leather. It features this oversized silver palladium hardware. I love this like oversized exaggerated zip. It has the um, the envelope flap here with the Givenchy there in, um, in the silver hardware. Now the strap is removable, but the strap like as you can see, like it comes, like there's like a little indentation. Let me show you. So there's an indentation here that you literally have to line up. Like, come on back, hold, hold, look, give me a second y'all. Cause, so we have the little indentation here and then this part here, like it'll just slip out of it. Like you just twist it and it just slips out. Like, I'm trying to do it holding one hand so I can show you guys, like I can actually show you in motion, but it's not working. So let me just do it and then show you guys after it's done. So this little indentation here, you just line it up with the opening and then you can slip it in and out. This bag is not crossbody like at all. Um, it doesn't matter how short you are. This is not a crossbody bag. As you can see, it's just like a really short shoulder drop, but it's enough to just be on your shoulder and be comfortable. Like you can wear a coat, you can wear a jacket, like whatever you wanna wear, and it just feels comfortable over your shoulder. Um, it has leather feet. It doesn't have hardware on the bottom. It's like this leather strip here as the feet. Um, so you just gotta be careful when you put it down. Like I said, it's the sugared, um, what is this? Like the goat skin leather, and then it has a canvas lining. So let me show you. So this is the newer version. So the lining on the inside is actually like a tan color. As you, let me see if you can see this. So it's that tan color so you can actually see your items in the bag because the one prior to this had a black lining and it was literally a black hole. So it was harder for you to get your things out. You have to carry like really bright colored um, wallets and accessories because you know, you really can't see it in there. So that was a little annoying, but the new version has the tan lining and I absolutely love so it. This bag retails for about 2350 or 2300. It's 23 and some change, girl. Don't quote me, but I'll leave the price in the description box. So I purchased mine from Saks, but um, you can purchase this at Neiman Marcus. You can purchase it at the Givenchy store. But let me just let you know that when you purchase from the boutique, you can't return, <laughs> you know? So if you know you're purchasing something from the boutique, you want that experience, you know, you want a Givenchy bag and a box and you just want all the frills and, you know, all the things, then, you know, and you know you're not gonna return it and you purchase from the store. But if you have any like doubt in the back of your mind that maybe you will wanna return it, then you need to purchase from Neiman Marcus or Saks Girl where you can actually return it if you don't want it and you can get your money back or store credit. I don't, I'm not sure how that works, but I know the return policy is way more flexible than when you purchase things from the actual, you know, designer boutique. So this is the bag. So let's see what's inside of the bag. And let me just do the disclaimer of all the what's in the bags that, you know, I didn't pack this bag for this video. Like this is how my bags are because I like to switch my bags out. So everything is pretty much like, you know, in its own little home. So it's easy for me to transfer. So let's start with this back pocket right here. So this zip pocket right here. So in this zip pocket, I have a wet ones, which is an antibacterial fragrance free wipe. <laughs> And my Lysol wipes, because when I go out to eat, if there's a restaurant that doesn't have a tablecloth and it's like just like, you know, a surface tablecloth, I do not trust the people that wipe off those tables at the restaurant. So I like to disinfect myself and wipe off my area myself. And this, I just like to wipe my hands with it. Um, I don't necessarily clean surfaces with this, but I just like to have these two in my bag at all times. So let me put that back. Actually, I'll just keep it out because I'm actually switching out my bag now. So I'll actually take this stuff out. And then we have the Louis Vuitton cosmetic pouch. This is the small one. So in this, I have a mirror. It's like crystallized, but it's all jacked up. Like you see, 
<laughs> you see that i don't know how you guys can see it but it's like literally jacked up but i do love it it has like rhinestones and crystals all over it anything with crystals guys like it has my name all over it i love it and then what else do i have in here i have my aquaphor i get really dry when i hand sanitize a lot and a lot of times the fragrant hand creams they don't moisturize my hands so i like to put something like a eucerin aquaphor underneath you know to actually get the moisture and then i put my fragrance body cream my fragrance body cream or body lotion or hand lotion on top so i have my aquaphor in here now i also have this little chanel this is like the la creme that comes in that little egg but because this was a sample like i got this sample from chanel um i have it in this little this little thing and i always keep these because i get these when i order from chanel.com like from chanel beauty like this is one of the samples that i always like to get so i have a ton of these and i just like to throw them in my bag so also we have my lip balm this is the fresh sugar advanced therapy this is an amazing lip balm guys it doesn't leave your lips feeling greasy um it's really nice for the lips it feels smooth but not too greasy and it definitely leaves your lips moisturized and also so my fragrance of the day was passe soir by bdk as you can see i done listen guys like can you see that like she stops right here like this i love this <laughs> so this is my decant of passe soir and then my corresponding cream is guys let me tell you something i need to listen you guys need to get this this is the grapefruit and red ginger hand lotion from target it's the beloved brand see it's this i get it from target is it can you guys see so see i get it from target i absolutely love it um it smells so good guys this is passe soir let me tell you if you you can't get to um the sample of passe soir by bdk smell this lotion this grapefruit and red ginger from target i have the body cream as well guys it smells so good this smells like passe soir and no there's no grapefruit you know listed in passe soir um but there's definitely ginger i don't know if it's red ginger but guys let me tell you this is a match made in heaven like this right here this combination is wicked okay so i keep that in here and that's it that's in my little cosmetic pouch so i'll leave that out and then in this little mini pochette accessoire i have a pair of gloves so you guys like i live in new jersey and we don't pump our own gas like the gas station attendant pumps the gas but this is for an emergency like just in case if i have to get gas in new york or anywhere else and i have to touch the pump myself i have my gloves child because like i said i've always been a germaphobe pre this situation that happened you know what i mean like i'm ready for war because i mean it's technically like we're in a war right now right with this whole situation that's going on so i also have my lysol another thing from target i love the target travel section guys i get my clorox wipes and my lysol wipes and my um wet ones and my lysol and whatever else i need i absolutely love that travel section in target you never know when you're gonna need lysol okay um i have in here i have a pen and i have the pen i the guys i used to have really cute pens like i had a swarovski pen that didn't have a top that exploded in my bag but luckily i had it in one of these cases and it was not a louis vuitton case it was actually a victoria's secret case like do you remember back in the day i don't know about you guys but victoria's secret had the bomb um toiletry cases and travel cases and like little purse bags like before i graduated to louis vuitton i was always buying the victoria's secret ones because they're so cute so i had a pen a swarovski pen that exploded in that bag so ever since then like i'm just carrying regular degula old big pens with it with the tap and just keep it moving okay and i also have my aim i get these from the dollar store these um you know toothpicks I definitely need those um put that back in there and it fits really good it's just the pen you have to like kind of like maneuver the pen and i also have like you know some sanitaries you all know what that looks like <laughs> so that's what's in this little mini pochette so we're gonna leave that out and then of course i have you guys know like i this 
moves from bag to bag to bag. I have the blue one, I have the yellow one, and this is my mask holder. Um, free gift from Saks, absolutely love it. Uh, what else? I have my wallet, and I'm not using the matching wallet right now. This is my Gucci wallet. Um, I just love this color. It's so bright and happy. I like to pull it out mainly in the summer, like the spring summer. Um, it's just a really pretty color, and I love the long wallets, guys. Like I'm a long wallet type of gal. Like <laughs> I use the smaller wallets when I have my smaller bags, but I don't typically like to fold my bills. It's just weird. I just like to, you know, like have my bills like nice and flat. I'm real anal when it comes to stuff like that. So I do love a long wallet to accommodate that. And uh, let's see what else is in here. I have, you guys have seen this. It's my Louis Vuitton key pouch, but I keep my loyalty cards in here and you know, supermarket card and you know, all that type of stuff in there. I have my six ring key holder that I have with my keys. Um, and then I have my coin purse. It's also the key pouch and the dominated bean because I like to use this as a change purse. So I keep all my change inside here um, because, you know, you need change. Like I used to need it um, for toll, but I mean, I have easy pass, so I really don't use it as much. But I do like to have my change with and me. And then, of course, we have the hand sanitizer, which I need to get another one. Guys, I get I have tons of these because I get these for my job. Guys, I have so many of these. It's not even funny. But I absolutely love it. It's like lemon scented, but it's 80% alcohol. I keep talking about this, guys, and I will always talk about it because the 80% is what does it for me. Like, I feel like it's actually really killing. It says it kills 99% of germs and bacteria. So it's the 80% for me, <laughs> okay? So we have the hand sanitizer, girl, because we got to keep the hands sanitized. And that's it. So let me just take everything out. Oh, and then... My change fell out. But these go in my little change purse. Little change. Put them in a piggy bank so I could buy some more perfume. <laughs> so, yeah. So, everything is all empty. So, let me show you. This side of the bag, guys. This side has a flat pocket here. And then another little flat pocket here. Um, it's so weird because I guess they used to make this for the phones back in the day. But they still make it like this in these bags. Like, no one's phone is fitting in here. Like, whose phone is fitting in there? Like, I don't know. But, I mean, it makes, you know, you can still stick something in there. Like, I actually put my keys in here. Um, my Louis Vuitton six ring key holder fits perfectly in this area. So, yeah. So, there you have it. The inside of the bag. And this is the Givenchy Antigona, like I said, in the small size. And it's the goat skin or calf skin it's that sugared leather um in the eggplant color so here you have it and that's all folks <laughs> so leave it in the comments below and let me know if you have the Givenchy Antigona are you guys a big bag type of gal because you know I am I'm the kitchen sink girl like I love to have my things accessible like if I'm going out at night and it's like one of those type of evenings. And yeah, I'll take a small bag. But I still can't take it too, too small. Because I need to fit I need to fit my things in here. Like there can be an emergency. Like who knows what's going to happen. I need to have things with me as well. Um, so yeah, guys. So that's it. Um, leave it in the comments below. And let's talk about it. What type of bags do you like? Do you like Givenchy? And we'll carry on the conversation like we always do. So remember, guys, to stay safe, be great, stay great, and always strive for greatness. AI the Great, signing out, but I'll see you in my next video. Peace.